Welcome friends, in this tutorial I will show you how to clone your Laravel project from GitHub repository into your local machine. It is very easy, you can easily do this task by following this video and by using few steps. So follow this video. First of all, we clone the project. For that purpose we go to browser and in browser open the GitHub account your uh, github account and go to specific repository in which a project is placed and click on code and here you can select open with github desktop so it takes little bit time wait for it So here you can check the path. It is required that your Laravel project is inside amp slash htdoc folder because if you want to run your project, it is required to place your project in this folder. So in our case, path is correct. You can also check if your path is not correct. You can select that specific path. Amp slash htdoc is required. Other uh, path is optional. And uh, clone it and here you can clone and open it in explorer so it is open in explorer you can see your Laravel project and its contained folder are shown on the screen so next step is to open in command prompt and in command prompt first it is required to install composer because when you deploy or upload your uh, project on github so uh, composer files are skipped uh, by git github so you can reinstall these files by using composer install command so these files are installed and it take little bit time so wait for it after installing this so it is installed successfully now our next uh, command is php we first we open the code editor and here and here we select the dot env dot example this yes. uh, copy all the content of this file and go to the and create new file with dot env extension and place code here so first task is to set the database name which is created in mysql in m server so in our case i write database name website one You can change the database name in dot example dot en dot example but it is not mandatory you can leave it as default so go to next task is to create the database with similar name so go to m server and oh in php my admin here you can create database with website one so database is successfully created now our next task is 
to PHP artisan key colon generate it create the key of of our project so key is successfully generated now next task is to migrate the migration files in our project into database which i created recently so for that purpose give the command php artisan migrate so it i migrate all the files which are exist in migration folder and uh, and generate the tables in a database so wait for it so migration is done successfully now our next task is to now our next task is to serve the project php artisan serve so it is successfully our next task is to php artisan serve so our project is run on local machine and uh, you can see it on the screen so it is successfully run so uh, register user one demo user it is and give the password one two three four five and press register oh but it shows that uh, password must be eight character so again write the password and uh, click so admin is successfully registered and uh, you can log out and again log in by giving the credentials email and password which you set so login so it is again login so it's mean database is successfully created in app so hope friends you enjoyed this tutorial please subscribe and like my videos uh, for watching such kind of interesting and informative videos in future thank you